Hey guys, this is Media Gaze, and I'm back playing Blade Runner. So the last one we left off, we're going to look at this picture on the Esper and see if we can find any more clues. So let's check it out. Tyrell Grab Test Lab. Let's see. Enhance seventy-eight to one forty. Pull back. Stop. Enhance one seventy-three to. 180. A bomb. Give me a hard copy of that. Pull back. Stop. Enhance. 135 to 143. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. Give me a hard copy of that. Oh, it was his earring. Enhance. 49 to 115. Stop. Pull back. Stop. Enhance. 154 to 225. A takeout box from Kingston Kitchens. Give me a hard copy of that. Pull back. Center and stop. Enhance. 30 to 33. Dog collar has a name on it. Ricky, maybe? Give me a hard copy of that. Pull back. Center and stop. I think that's everything. Now I need to talk to Tyrell about this, so let's head down and talk to Guza and see if he can get me in to see Tyrell. Ground floor. The goons over at the Tyrell building wouldn't let me talk to their boss. Maybe you can set up a meeting. Anyone else in that whole company who knows anything? <laughs> you and I both know it's a one-man show over there. Yeah, no, give it a try, kid. I'll have to pull some strings, so don't go in there half-assed. Make sure you got some legit questions for the resident genius. Appreciate it, Lieutenant. Nice. So now I'm gonna go talk to Tyrell.
Here. We get to the bottom of this. Talk to the main man. Beautiful, isn't it? The owl or the view? Both. The view is amazing. The owl, well, artificial things never did that much for me. It's a flawless replica. We used a real one as a model. Owls are extinct. Who told you the model was real? Dr. Terrell. He's wrong, or lying. Check your Sydney's. Eldon wouldn't make up something like that. You're Tyrell's assistant? Yes, I'm Rachel. Dr. Terrell is very busy. I'm fully familiar with all Terrell operations. He does know I'm a cop, right? Blade Runner unit? Dr. Terrell has already met with one Blade Runner today and has important business to attend to. Your department should coordinate its efforts better. Yeah, but... You may speak to me or you may leave. I can't offer you any other choices. Fair enough. I wanted to ask about Marcus Eisendeller. I can't tell you who killed him if that's what you're asking. We've already got a suspect. What I want to know is why the killer would be interested in replicant DNA information. That's a stupid question. Oh yeah? Why's that? Your suspect is obviously a replicant. A very dangerous one. I thought replicants were safe. More human than human. Isn't Dr. Tyrell pushing to make it legal to use rep labor to clean up the kipple? Are we here to discuss corporate policy or Marcus Eisendeller's murder? A little of both. You heard about the moon bus hijacking. Yeah, I guess you would have. Fifty people dead. You can't blame. I'm surprised you aren't out doing spin control. The public gets nervous when your pets wander around the city without a leash. Replicants aren't pets. Right. Pets live longer and don't go around killing people. They... There are safeguards in the design. Yeah, I've seen the data. Implanted memories, a four-year lifespan. I'd probably get a little crazy too, but I don't think I'd start killing people. Wouldn't you? As I explained to Mr. Deckard earlier, I've given the Nexus 6 model a past. I've given it the purity and innocence of childhood. And all the joy and despair that comes with a real existence. That's hardly a death sentence. That's life. I thought you weren't meeting with any more Blade Runners today. Well, I decided to make an exception. Mr. Uh, McCoy, isn't it? You do understand the need for the Nexus 6 to have an identity. Not really. No. I do see why a replicant who has an identity would want to steal Eisendaller's files. Please, enlighten me. They want more life. They're wasting their time. They're gonna come for you, just like they came for Eisendaller. I have nothing to fear from any of my children. I tell them all exactly what I told you. Have I given you what you came here for? I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe. Then if you'll excuse me, I have a stockholder meeting to attend.
So that was cool. Got to talk to Tyrell and Rachel. So I'm going to go, and when I come back, we're going to head back to the police station and check in on any new evidence or anything. So I'll talk to you guys next time. Alright, see you later.